weekly market report, COVID-19 edition. So out there in the real estate market today, the question on everyone's mind seems to be, what is the impact today and what is going to be the impact on the local real estate market given this global pandemic we've been under? Well, my team and I have assembled statistics every single week and set them against the COVID-19 curve here in the United States. You can see our beautiful line graph right up here. So we'll be putting some stats up here on the screen for you and we'll be doing this video every single week as we make our way through these unprecedented times together. So in Royal Palm Yacht and Country Club this week, three new listings come on the market. Now, if we compare that to last week, the number was four, so we're pretty stable there. And then when we look at the month of April in 2019 compared to the month of April in 2020, that's down 29%. And if we look at year to date, so we're this week, we're in week number 20. So if we look January until week number 20 for 2019 versus 2020, we are down 17%. So in terms of new homes hitting the market, we are definitely down year over year. We're down week over week. Um, interesting note uh, that I'd like to point out is for our year to date, Keep in mind as we go through this, we had a very strong first quarter here in Royal Palm. And so we are now chipping away at the lead, if you want, that we had for the year. This week in Royal Palm, we have a total of 66 homes on the market. One of the leading indicators of how the market is going to unfold in the next couple of quarters are our new contracts also known as our contingents and our pendings here in Royal Palm. So in the month of April, we had one home go into contract here in Royal Palm. That's for the entire month of April. This week we had zero homes go into contract. So if we look at 2019 month of April versus 2020 month of April, we are down 91%. So in 2019 month of April, we had 11 homes go into contract and in 2020, in the month of April, it was only one. So that is definitely a leading indicator um, showing that the market is slowing here in Royal Palm. So our year-to-date numbers show a very similar trend. We are down 47% in terms of properties going into contract, keeping in mind that we had a strong Q1, so the 91% decrease in, during the month of April is quite probably indicative of what we will see continue to unfold throughout the second quarter. In terms of the properties that have been taken off the market here in Royal Palm, they're canceled, withdrawn, or off the market for some other reason, we are up 100% um, for the month of April to date, so double the number of canceled listings here in Royal Palm. For year to date, we are down 27% in terms of cancellations. So around you know the same period last year, we had had 30 canceled listings and year to date in 2020, we've only had 22 canceled listings. So the increase in canceled listings during the month of April and ostensibly you know throughout the coming quarter will probably put us over the top for last year but that remains to be seen there's less inventory coming on the market and so it's predictable that we will have fewer cancellations as well everyone's very favorite topic of course is sales in Royal Palm this week, we didn't have any closed sales. Last week, we had three. Um, that's our week over week number. In terms of the month of April, we are down 63%. So in the month of April, 2019, we had eight sales. And in the month of April in 2020, we had three sales. In terms of our year to date figure for closed sales, we are down 27%. So last year we had 26. This year we've had 19 sales here in Royal Palm year to date. So what does this mean for the residents of Royal Palm? Of course, if you'd like to talk about your personal situation and how the market statistics apply to you, I would be happy to chat with you about that. I'm easy to find by phone, 561-500-PINK. Now, in general terms, this isn't gonna to apply to everyone, but broad strokes, the decrease in the new active listings coming to the market is an indicator of a decrease in seller confidence. The lack of new contracts coming 
uh, together is an indicator of a lack of buyer confidence. So when both buyers and sellers are not very confident and bullish on the market, things tend to slow down a little bit. So we will often see inventory levels decrease, velocity increase, and the market quiet down, quiets down for a period of time. I expect that to happen over the next quarter or so, but I will keep you up to date week to week as we make our way through this together. Thanks again for watching. I'm Rochelle Cavalier, bringing you the very best of Boca Raton luxury real estate. so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed shooting it. Be kind. Click this button over here that says subscribe. It'll let me know that you value what we've done. Just next to it, it's a little bell. Click that and you'll receive a notification each and every time we upload a new video. That might be a Tuesday tour of a luxury property. That might be Boca 360, interesting people, places and happenings in and around Boca or Data Nerds Unite, a nice market report for you. Anything you'd like to see, put it down here in the comments. I read each and every one of them. Thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon.